I'm Anthony Beaver, and my new book, coming out in May, is Russia, Revolution and Civil War, 1917 to 1921. This terrible conflict was the most influential event of the modern era because it produced the lethal struggle between fascism and communism, which led to the Second World War. Right from the start, I hope that by telling the extraordinary and tragic story of the Revolution and Civil War, using entirely new material from the Russian archives, it would answer certain questions which have fascinated me for so long. How could that great Russian idealism, the humanism of Pushkin, Hartzen, Tolstoy and Chekhov, which had so longed for liberty and rejoiced then in the overthrow of the Tsar, then have been crushed so rapidly? Why did democracy stand so little chance? An important question today. Instead of freedom, the revolution produced a far more regressive and oppressive regime than the one it replaced. How did it also become so cruel? I was tempted to call the book The Devil's Apprentice, an idea suggested by the great Russian critic and writer Viktor Shlosky. The story comes from an old Russian folktale in which the Devil's Apprentice boasts that he knows how to rejuvenate an old man. To restore his youth, though, he claims he first needs to burn him up. So the apprentice sees the old man on fire, but then finds that he cannot revive him. Shklovsky used it, obviously, as a parable to demonstrate how Lenin and the Bolsheviks were similarly reckless in their determination to make their social experiment regardless of cost. Humanist values never stood a chance against a fanatical determination to destroy the past, whether good or bad. Above all, I wanted to convey the conflict through the eyes of those involved, from the worker on the streets of Petrograd to the cavalry officer on the battlefield and the woman doctor in an improvised hospital. For this, I needed the letters, personal accounts and diaries of participants, both victors and victims. This finally proved possible entirely thanks to the astonishing work for the last four or five, four and a half years by Luba Vinogradova, my great friend and colleague, ever since our research together for my book Stalingrad 27 years ago. I think that the result also goes to show that no country can escape the terrifying ghosts of its past, least of all Russia. Thank you very much.